nice fishing next to the current because at times you will catch a nice small mouth or a large mouth. Um, this is a six and a half inch fly. It's black and brown, which is a real good color for this river. With a little bit of black flash in it. You guys can see how this thing moves. I'm barely moving it and it's just kicking. Let's try these little pockets. See ya, bud. Awesome start. Just a couple casts in here. That one was skinny, surprisingly. Usually the pike are fat this time of the year. If that was a 28 inch fat one, it would be a lot stronger. The ones I caught last week were 26, 25 inch. Very strong. So here we have the river system. And here we have a huge eddy. So let's get out of the current and in the ocean. 10 to 15 mile an hour wind comes right at me. saying why I cast with both hands, uh, we're using both arms. The main reason I learned to do this is because when you kayak fish, uh, if the wind is coming from the left and you want to fish this side, uh, you obviously want to use your right arm to cast because you can't just back cast and turn around in a kayak like you could in a boat or from shore. So this taught me uh, to start using my right arm to cast. I'm actually left-handed. And if I'm fishing the other side of the river, I'll be using my left arm to cast because the wind will be coming from the right side of me. So that is the main reason I learned to uh, cast. But let me show you guys with my left hand now. I can actually cast a little better. My double haul is a little better with my left hand uh, compared to my right. But it's getting good with my right and I can cast almost as far. And this also helps uh, with your arms getting tired. They don't get tired as much because you can just switch arms, uh, especially in calm conditions. I'm always switching arms. And when the fish aren't, bi aren't biting, oh, well, that one bit, but when the fish aren't biting. What was I gonna say? A cat, a catfish or something. Both in what are you? A oh, smallie, oh yeah, a nice smallie. Heck yeah, guys. Oh, I was going to say, when the fish aren't biting, uh, you can just practice casting with your other arm, and that gives you something to do. And I still strip in with the same hand. 
Uh, so I always switch hands after I cast. But anyway, let's look at his smallmouth. It is a nice smallmouth. Six and a half inch fly. Wow, beautiful. Solid fish. You can see it just hooked on the side here. Single hook fly. It's working great. Let's take this off for a picture. Actually, the second smallmouth of the year here for me on a pike fly. And I used to catch a lot more largemouth here. Look at the colors on this fish. Beautiful. Wow, 17 inches. I didn't weigh him. He's probably two pounds. Strong fish. See ya. <laughs> it wasn't too windy. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can just keep casting with one arm. Obviously, when there's no wind, it won't affect you. But a lot of times, I'm the best days for me are during windy conditions. So that's what I do. 